Hi yeah, I'm Simone Radley from Ink London Nails and in this video we're going to do more Christmas stuff because everyone's Christmas wild very early. What date is it? November the 19th. something. November something. And everyone's gone Christmas crazy so early but I'm all for it. We have just been talking about baubles which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to work on a fit tip. I'm just going to buff it lightly to remove the shine to make sure that the eye lac adheres nicely. And on this nail we're going to do um, a foil sandwich and balls. So I'm just going to dust it off and then I'm going to use some green cleaner just to get rid of all the dust make sure it's nice and clean. Then I'm going to use I30 which is a really nice like metallic dark blue. It's like a real rich looking colour this is. It's really nice. So I'm going to do one coat of this and then we're going to do our foil sandwich. So now that's out of the lamp, we're going to add our foil. So I've got Tony foil, which is a silver holographic. It's really pretty, this one. So I've got the, oh, I can see the edge. Ah, oh, yes, I've got the edge. So I'm going to cut a bit off. Normally I have to pull the whole thing out, but I can cut a bit off. Maybe tuck it back in. Yeah. So I'm going to put foil, I want quite a lot of foil on here. So I'm just going to dab it on. As you can see it transfers really easily. I don't want to cover the whole thing but I did want quite a lot of foil. And now I'm going to just get a bit of the I30. Not, I don't need loads. And then I'm going to decant some Rock Plus Top Coat into that I30 because I just basically want to make it a bit more sheer. This one's nearly running now. So I just want to make that colour a bit more sheer. Just I'm basically just sort of watering the colour down. So I'm just going to use the brush out of the polish and just sort of mix that colour together with the top coat. And then I'm just going to paint it on. So you can see that it, you still see that really nice foil pattern through it. It just gives it like that blue shine. And that's your foil sandwich because it's sandwiched in between like two colour layers. With some of the colours you won't have to mix it with anything, you'll just be able to put the colour on because if it's quite a sheer colour already you don't need to do that. But with this colour if you don't mix it you can't really, it really totally covers up the foil. So once you've um, covered it up, pop it into Cure. And now that's cured, I'm going to top coat this because I'm going to do my ball ball design on top once it's top coated. So I'm going to top coat it in velvet matte because I just think that the matte will be really nice with this foil effect but also our ball balls on top are going to be shiny. So I think it'll be nice to have that sort of contrast. So once that's top coated, pop it into cure. So for our ball balls, I'm going to use Oakley, which is a silver holographic um, glitter. It's medium in size. I don't know size numbers for glitter, I'm an out there with it. What size is Oakley? Putting Joe on the Zero zero eight. Zero zero eight. I would call that medium in size. <laughs> It's not really fine and it's not chunky. So I'm just going to decant some onto my silicone pad 
That's quite a lot, I'm not going to lie. And then I'm going to add some Ultimate No White Top Coat to that. Oh, I'm covered in glitter. And get my nail tip out. Oh, it's nice matte. I don't know if you can see that. It's focusing on that. There you go. Looks really nice matte. So I'm going to mix this Ultimate No White Top Coat and the glitter together. I'm just mixing it with a dotting tool. And your ball balls, you can do any shape ball balls you want. You might just want to do round one. You might want to do all different ones. You could do um, just round ones. You could do love hearts. You can do like the long sort of thin ones. You can do all sorts of different shapes. Because they come in all shapes and sizes, ball balls, these days. So your consistency of your glitter, it wants to hold its shape so it's not just going to blob out everywhere, but not be too stiff that you can't do anything with it. So that consistency, I think, for me, is about right. So... I'm going to do two ball balls on here and I'm going to do them two different shapes. So I'm going to use my Vice Versa brush for my first ball ball. And this one, I'm going to do that shape where it's like that. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. But you'll see when I put it on. So I'm going to start in what will be the middle of my ball ball with a bit of a blob. I'm going to make it into a bit of a sort of circle and then I'm going to extend it up at the top and then just down out at the bottom so it makes like a mm, I don't even know what you call the shape like a croissant <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Or a diamond. If you turn it sideways, it's a bit diamond shape, like an elongated diamond. I'm just swapping to my artiste brush because I want it a bit thinner at the top. And I'm just going to make it a little bit wider in the middle. So yeah, it is an elongated diamond, I think. And then I'm going to do a circle, like a normal round ball ball quite a big one so I'm just going to pop them into cure before they spread out I'm just going to flash cure them because I want to add a little bit more glitter to the I don't know I still don't know what you call it I'm not alright I can't think of the shape what shape are them ball balls Joanna? teardrop yeah like a teardrop aren't they no, it's not. Because they're thin and then they go wide and then they go thin again. It's like an eyeball if you look at it sideways, I suppose, is it? I don't know. You know you know what I mean. I want to add some more glitter to that one anyway. Because it just looked a little bit patchy. Don't worry about these being raised, that's a good thing, I think, anyway. And we're not going to top coat over the whole thing afterwards because we've already top coated our nail in matte top coat. And because we've mixed this glitter with the ultimate no wipe top coat, it doesn't need top coating over. So these will be raised anyway. I just wanted to make sure there's no gaps in it with the glitter. So now I'm going to... Oh. It is a teardrop, teardrop shape. Oh, is it? But it's pointy at the bottom. Oh. Being Q call it a teardrop. I thought a teardrop was round at the bottom. No, if you Google it, that's what will cut the bottom shape comes up when you do teardrop shape. There you go. It's a teardrop <laughs> bubble. <laughs> you learn something new every day. So that's what we're doing. And when it's cured, I'm going to do the 
the bow at the top and the string and the details, I'm going to do that with some white, no white gel paint and my artiste brush. So I'm just going to get some out and put it onto my silicone pad. You don't need loads, a little bit goes a long way. So once that's cured, we're going to add in our detail. So I'm going to use my 15mm liner brush first to do my string coming out the top of my ball ball. And that one and then this one. And then I'm going to use my artiste brush. And I'm going to outline my ball ball. And then we're going to put our bows on the top. So again, I'm just using my artiste brush, rolling it through the paint to make sure we've got a nice even coverage. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do the loop at the top of the bow first. So that's going to come up quite high from my string. So I'm just making like another teardrop shape. There's lots of teardrops involved with ball balls. So doing a nice thin line. Then I'm going to come down and put in the edge of my bow, which is going to bend in on the side. So it's going to go in and then out. So it's basically like a wiggly line down the edge. And it's then going to go up to meet the centre of your bow. I'm going to pick up some extra paint and put a middle, like I do a middle of my bow. You can do this with a dotting tool as well if you want. I'd probably use quite a small one, like the one that's on the end of the vice versa, and you can just do a dot in the middle. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this ball ball at the bottom. So I'm going to use my vice versa brush flat so I can just shade in for this bow. So I'm going to just pull in some of the white from the top, from the top of the bow. Not a lot, so if you feel like it's going too white, just wipe off your brush to get rid of some of the paint. Because you still want it to appear blue in the middle. And then do the same on the other side. And then I'm just going to come back over those lines quickly again, just to make sure that they're nice and prominent and they've not disappeared now that we've sort of pulled the paint away for the shading. And once you're happy with your bows, then you can put the whole thing into cure for 120 seconds. So now that's cured, that is our ball ball foil sandwich design done. I hope you like it. Everything that I've used will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at Joanna's ball balls. I won't tell you what they look like. <laughs> But well, she's bought some questionably shaped ball balls from the range. And it's just it just made me think of it. Sorry Joanna, I brushed you right up. <laughs> so